Hello, I'm Lee from Data Harvest, and in this video today, we're going to show the ViewPlus data log I'm working with the EasySense 2 software with two temperature sensors plugged in. So normally you have two students, one on each hand, or your hands warmer than mine, but I will mimic that by myself today so you can see how it works. Now, the ViewPlus data logger, uh, you can connect with the USB lead or Bluetooth, but we're going to connect through Bluetooth for, th uh, for this. So turn on your logger, scroll down until you get to Bluetooth, hit the enter button, and that's now broadcasting Bluetooth. Go to the EasySense 2 software, click on devices. Now, if you've got more than one data logger in the classroom, they'll all have separate name and numbers, so they shouldn't get mixed up. We go and click connect. So we're now connected on there. So we're just gonna do this and do it a number of different ways. Now, it's automatically shown the two external sensors plugged in two temperatures. I'm gonna turn off sound, light, and temperature, because they're the internal sensors. Now, there's a few ways I can do this now. I could do this in a consistent line graph, which I think is probably the best way to start. So we're gonna click on start. So we'll show you a couple of different ways to do this. So see, that is B, that is A. And if I hold it down here on the right-hand side of the graph, you'll notice there's also numbers there. So that is the actual readings on there. So you can see that going up. Now, if I cheat a little bit now and use a bit of friction, you can see they're going up nicely on the right-hand side there. Now that's a good way to show it to start, but there's a couple of things you can do with this now. So that screen is showing minus 30 to 150, so it's a big graph. So we can click stop, click on the left-hand side, and we can click on default range, we can actually say min to max. So that's really good, so that can show you up on the screen. So that's a really nice way of doing it. But there's also some other ways to show this. So I'm gonna go back to home again. I'm going to go and click into graph. So I'll go and click on graph on here. I'm gonna change the layout this time. So I'm actually going to have Let's have four layouts. So what I'm going to do on this one, I'm just going to have the red temperature. On this one, I'm just going to have the blue temperature. And on the right hand side, I'm gonna have a, new, a numerical readout as well. So we just turn off on here, turn off the blue one. And on here, just have the red one on there, easy as that. So if I click start now, So on the right hand side, you see I forgot to actually click on numerical. <laughs> there you go, so we're now caught up. So that's a nice way to actually show it like that. Now again, it depends on the ability of the students and so forth. You might not want to show that many graphs at once, but just trying to show you there's always more than one way to lay out the experiments if you actually want to do that. This is also a similar way if you want to put it in solutions. If you have your two cups, one with a lid, one without a lid, why do you have lids and take away uh, cups, for instance? That's a nice one to do as well, as well as uh, heating experiments as well. So if you have a lamp and you can have different materials and you'll see obviously depending on what color the material is one will dark, one will heat up quicker than the other. So there's loads of experiments and they're all in our ebook of activity so please download that free of charge off our website and it's on the View Plus product page. So there are I think it's 44 experiments there to actually have a look at so there's loads to play with. All right so we'll just click stop on here now. That's as easy as that to actually do that video. Once you've got the video here there's lots of things you can do to it. You can also go to file and export as a CSV, so that's comma separated variables, put it into any other spreadsheet package you like as well. Uh, lots more videos on our YouTube channel of showing you different experiments with the View Plus data logger. Please go and have a look. Hopefully you'll subscribe as well, and if you do, click on the bell down the bottom and allow notifications. Any questions, please contact us here at Data Harvest, sales at data-harvest.co.uk. And of course, there's our website, which has lots more information on it as well, which is data-harvest.co.uk. Thank you.